All right, you are ready to start creating groggles in chocolate versions. You say yes. What I need. All right, so in this video today, we're going to be taking a few things apart on my Ender 3 and we're going to be installing the Lucky Bot. All right, so we're going to be exchanging things around so we can make this 3D printer that print filaments and to be able to print chocolate versions of groggles. Let's do that right now. So how are we doing everyone? I'm Dario from Media Box ENT. Yes, and today we're gonna to be taking apart, we're gonna be taking apart the head, we're gonna install this, we're looking at the software, looking how we're gonna be mental, melting the chocolate and all these things and temperature and all these settings we really need to start making like Grogo or anything else we want to print on chocolate version of 3D. All right, but before that, you need to subscribe right now to Media Box ENT and hit right there in the side in the notification bell you know why it's q2 doesn't let you know next time we release another cool printer it will print you know other things and chocolate version and will help you into your next project so make sure you click the notification bell so let's go and let's take some things apart all right so let's begin the transformation so right now it's a filament printer and we're going to be making this to be able to print chocolate what I have around the table is it's all the parts you need to make the change. Now, there are more parts, but I think the other parts or the extra parts will be a lot of leftover is for uh, different printers because this you can adapt to almost like a three to four different printers. So that's why we have more parts. Now, if you want to see the detail in all those parts, right, I did in a cool open box, check it out. I'll leave you the link right over there and you will go over all the rest of the part that you don't see around the table. This is the only thing we need for the ender all right so now if you look at the structure the structure will tell you the way to do it is by removing the main head so we need to remove the main head and that's required to take the fence out so there is two screws you remove this out and then two screw that holds the main head all right right there two screws when you do that you're going to use this metal plate and if you see these two holes this is exactly the two holes that holds the head in the top of the two screws if you do that now we're going to mount in this right here so i want to show you that i want to pay attention to this because the way we're going to mount it here is totally different so you see this you know so we have this plate that came with the package if i mount it that way if i do that way and we bring it this way here let's go up now all right let's bring this all the way up the high it's going to be something this way so you have about three inches from the tip to the plate. All right, and only two screws is gonna be holding the heavy unit because you're using the two original screws to hold the head, that's it. But now, if you're gonna use this one now, we're gonna be mounted this right now. And this is pretty simple. So it comes with the screws and I'll show you the difference. I think it's much better that way. Then it's uh, actually not that one. So we go this way. And now let's get the Allen key. Let's tie that one up. Start this one. And we are ready. That's the power. All right, that's the one that goes to the main board. Okay. So right now, this is ready. Now check this out. If I mount it that way. Do you see that? Do you see how much again now? I have what? Four to five inches. Plus, remember that you have to put the tip. All right, so there are two type of tips. So you see here, you have that, or either you can choose the plastic tip. So the plastic tip, if you do that, actually you're gonna lose another maybe an inch into it. So I think this is a better way. Besides, there's three screws to hold the plate, so it's much better. Now, few adjustments you need to make. Now, when you get this part, this one is loose for the idea you need to adjust it. Make sure you adjust this and tie it up because if you not do that, this thing will be loose. So now, how we remove the head of the new way or the way we're going to do it right now. So for me to remove this head, I'm not going to take this apart. See, it's hidden in the side. Now, the things you're going to be doing right now, if you have one of these printers, actually, this printer can be disassembled. So it's, it's exactly what you did once. 
to put this together. So for me to do that, I'm going to remove this up. And I think it's better and easy to reverse it this way. Now we're going to take this out. Perfect. Now, my next step is I need to get this out. And it's still having a problem. It's still head there in the side. What I need to do is two screws, one here and one the other side. All right. So we need to remove that. I already removed it just to save some time. This is what you got to do. So remember, there's one screw right here on the back and one over there. We can push it forward a little bit so I can remove the head, the whole thing. All right. Instead of taking, if not, you got to take this up, take the whole thing, not worth it. So what I do, I'm going to push with my finger a little forward this way. I think it's genius this way I'm doing right now. Watch this. You see this? It's done. So my next step is I need to disconnect it from here. I supposed to disconnect it automatically from here. I don't know when it's coming out. It's not coming out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lose it this way. So this thing is loose. You're going to still leave it disconnected because the sister still look for this, right? So this one, you just leave it aside. Right, or can tire somewhere. If you're gonna use this as a fully uh, a chocolate uh, machine, you can just maybe leave it somewhere in the side. But that's it, right now. So now I'm gonna bring the main unit that is nice, built heavy duty. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push it forward a little bit. I'm gonna slide this through the track. Just push a little forward so it opens there and allow me to go in and, in and check this out. You see that? That's perfect. So my next step is get this wheel back again. Let's lose that a little bit again. So let's put that in. All right, so we go this way. We tie it in a second. And we're gonna go on the back, same way you guys did it when you build a unit. So we use one of the trucks that are there. I'm gonna hold this one right there. I think maybe the second one or the first one, depends how you want this type. And now the only thing I need to do it's just push this forward, this thing here, right? We look out in the camera. I need to push this forward. So we have some tension right there. All right, so now we are ready. Perfect, you see that? I'm gonna hold it right there. This move left and right. Super easy if I have to bring the head up. I can pull this one out, right? Make sure you tie this up. It's gonna be loose, so if this thing moves, right? You need to tap only the bottom wheel, right? Two on the top and one on the bottom, all right? So perfect up to that point. So now you will need to adjust the new high. So you see this is fall down and we have to make sure the printer knows when to turn it off. We need to disconnect the Z now. All right, so up and down. So we're gonna disconnect this up and we need to bring this high and that's the off position. So you're gonna see the micro switch and that's gonna be the new Z high. When the thing comes on, automatic turns off. But now the cable is short, no problem. We have one, yeah called the, the limited extension so we're gonna plug it in right here and now we extend this up and we bring that here all right so now the z connection of the limiter so now it knows when to stop my next thing is we need to plug it into the motherboard all right and that's pretty simple i already removed the screws but what you gotta do there is two screws right over here you need to remove those two screws there and one screw right there and one screw right there so we can plug it into the motherboard so at that point you're going to plug this cable out and some more connector so it only goes one way so we plug it in right there in the back all right and this needs to go somewhere in the back remember it needs to be loose because it goes up and down all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to send this down so the best way to do it we're going to have to put this this way all right send this wire underneath and now what we need to do is plug it in so now we're going to remove the e connector the molex connector and then remove that one out and we're going to put that from the locky bot let's plug it in right there and then my next thing is we need to plug in the thermistor the thermistor so we remove the first molex out and just we really plug it in this little dangle or this little thermistor just plug it there and that's what you need to do then we close it down and we are ready to start uh, printing. All right, so at this point, we'll connect everything. So we need power now. So we're going to use the white connector. It came with the package. We're going to plug it in right here. All right, so the next one is the power supply for the head. Plug it in right there. Use the original cable, came with the printer. Plug in right here. And now we need to power out the head. So remember the one you connected back to the motherboard. 
you can see it uh, right there on the side we put that so you guys can pick on it all right so it's this cable and we plug it in and you are ready to go so the next section i'm going to show you how to make the chocolate or how to prepare the chocolate and then we'll begin printer let's do that now all right so now we have to get the chocolate into the tube now what what kind of chocolate you can use well if you look the manual they had about a half a dozen to recommend the chocolates in temperature in this case i'm going to use uh, simple chocolate and you know use the horseshoe is is on the list of one of the preferred chocolates to use that and then we wait until this thing gets melted that takes doesn't take too long so we leave it right over there the heat will start melting the chocolate and then we put some more bars until we get at least uh, put it up into the top where it fits right here in this tube is a total of nine tiny bars each square so we're looking at about 65 grams so each square like that so it fit four first and then what i did as it was given milk i was pushing it right in a total total of nine and it takes about maybe 15 to 20 minutes remember i'm using just uh hot water boiling water about 200 and 212 so we're going to cover it up push some of there out and we're ready to go we're going to put it right in the fridge and we're going to wait 90 minutes all right so now we are into the software now this you need to download it from lucky bot all right so download and install it first thing you need to do open the profile that's inside the cura directory lucky bot profile and that's ready set for your printer and then just go and download the model that just did from then click low i just i download the cat in this case you can change it you can make a lot of modification if you see it takes about 15 grams of chocolate and it's going to take 34 minutes we can make it small if you want or bigger we can make all the changes you want in my case i didn't make any changes just download the model then save it it will save in your computer if you have the micro sd card it will just save it right into the micro sd card and you need to move that into the printer so the next section let's go over the printer and let's get ready to start printing all right so now we have the chocolate ready so we need to set now the temperature for this chocolate is 35 celsius and that's going to be the warm-up time and it requires for you to wait 30 minutes so after you install the tube that i'm doing right now you're going to twist it in and, and tie that thing up you set it to 35 wait 30 minutes and come back and you're ready at that point after we wait 30 minutes at 35 celsius we're going to bring it one celsius down and we're going to leave it to 34 and then we are ready to go all right make sure you put those papers if you see they show you in the, in the video all right now you're gonna have chocolates everywhere so set that up and let's go into the configuration now of the printer all right let's move on to the printer so you need to go into prepare move the axle and go all, all the way down to extruder at that point move 0 0.1 millimeter and you start putting the numbers up until you see the chocolate start falling down after you see it right down in the corner right so you have to get a continue or chocolate coming out at the point after this that we are ready to load the model all right let's go all the way up all right we'll go all the way up and let's go into main and let's go and just load up the uh, printer there and load up the cat yes click on it and we are ready make sure you bring the speed all right bring the speed all the way down to about uh, 50 and if you see fr we need to drop it all right yeah we're gonna drop it 40 it's, not, it's too fast and that's it after this we'll start uh drawing the cat All right, so after half an hour, we got a cool eatable cat <laughs> right here. 
Yes, it takes about half an hour to do this cat. I remember I slowed down the speed about 15%. Then what I then when was done, I just bring it right to the fridge. You know, wait like 50 minutes to guarantee this thing is uh, super solid. And now we can eat this cool cat. It's, we can do many things. Uh, you need to test it. You need to try different things. So what I'm going to do, like always, I'm sure you need to get this printer and also the lucky bat as well too to make it easy for you i will leave the two links right below this video so you can just go and make it yours uh, right away leave me a comment let me know what you think and if you try already machine let me know why you print or what is that comment i'll see you next time bye